Hey there, Kim Ryder here. I'm at the beautiful Malala River State Park in Oregon and it's a glorious day. Today I wanted to talk to you about how we can be paralyzed by fear. So where does fear come from? It comes from the experiences that we may have had in the past. It can come from preempting something, a situation that may happen or may not happen in the future. It may come from feelings of not being good enough or feelings of insecurities, being insecure about something that negative experience in the past. Fear can be very debilitating and destructive and it's because we, we can really imagine the worst case scenario, the worst thing that might happen to us and that will generate and perpetuate fear inside of us. Recently I worked with a young lady who wanted to succeed in her final exams. She was really wanting to get there but she had huge fears that she was actually going to fail really miserably again. You see she failed the previous year and she was retaking her exams again and that really set fear inside of her. So what did we work on? We worked on the emotions, the, the memories, the feelings, the sensations and release those so that she could start to feel good about herself again and she did. It took a few sessions though to really overcome because it, it went deeper and deeper. It wasn't just from that previous year's experience, it was way, way back. We can all be fearful of something, but feelings come and feelings go. And what I wanted to share with you today is a way of actually overcoming your fears, just by tapping simple sequence and releasing that those feelings and those sensations that we produce inside of us. So if you're having a fearful problem right now, if you're suffering from fear or stress in some way, I'd like you to tap along with me. Okay, so what I want you to do is just go inside that fear now. Just notice as you do what you're actually doing inside your own mind you're thinking about, what images come to mind when you are in that fearful state. Notice the sensations or feelings in your body. Notice where they are. All right, you've got it. This is what we're aiming at. Those specific feelings and sensations, the thoughts, the images surrounding all of that. All right, you've got it. Now start tapping. So I release and let it go. It's safe to let it go. I just let it go. I'm okay as I let this go. Take a deep breath. Blow the air out. We're just anchoring in peace here, holding onto the wrist, saying peace. Good. Let's just take a look at the beautiful view. The lovely river, the trees. I'm here now and I really am okay. Good job. I want you to do the same. All right, now go back into that same state again. All right, and notice that, that it's changed. Notice that it's lessened. Notice what's left there, and then start tapping. So I release and let go this fear. This fear is just a feeling that I might be preempting something that may not have happened yet, but I'm letting it go. It's safe to let it go. I'm okay as I let this go and take a deep breath in. Hold on to your wrist, blow the air out and say peace, so you're anchoring in peace. Good. And we're back in the wilderness again in beautiful views, the river, the surroundings, wherever you're at now, just looking up, getting yourself out of that state. Beautiful. Okay, so let's go back there again into the fear. Notice. We're aiming at that fear. Notice what's left there. Notice where your mind goes, what you think about, the images, the feelings and sensations. Notice that they've really gone down and start tapping. So I let it go. All these little aspects. 
by releasing that go. This old fear, wherever it started, wherever it began, I'm letting it go now and I'm okay as I let this go. I'm here with Kim as I let this go. Take a deep breath. Blow the air out. Say peace. All right, so we continue to do our tapping and we keep going. Sometimes it takes us half an hour. Sometimes it takes us an hour. Sometimes it takes us a couple of hours. Sometimes it takes a couple of weeks. So it's up to the individual. But keep tapping because it will get less and less and less and less until you can really start to feel something new and different. And you will feel different. You will feel so much better in yourself. Keep working on yourself. Keep releasing that stress and that fear. And you will feel so much better. You'll change the way you feel. So this is Kim Ryder. Enjoying this beautiful day, this beautiful moment. Have a lovely day wherever you are. Bye for now.